Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kido Abashi, and I would like to be the first to tell you I'm extremely honored and excited to let you know that I have launched my very own space playlist. Now, I made it sound like it's bigger than what it really is. It ended up just a playlist, but I always wanted to open a space station called Keto, not to die, me. My name is Keto. That's my real name. It's on my birth certificate. All I'm saying is, we doing space videos too. There is more to life than just music and laughter. There are all, there's also cosmos. There's also black holes. There's also other planets, galaxies, billions of light years away from us. There is also a James Webb telescope. And more importantly, there's Elon Musk. What more can you ask for? Be sure to subscribe. If you want to see more of these videos, be sure to fucking subscribe. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cuss you. I have said I wasn't going to even cuss this on my intro. I cussed on my intro. I done messed up. Like the video and subscribe. We're doing more of these. Leave me in the comment. What is my next video? Intro! Yeah, you never flew private plane. Now your eyes open wide up in Paris. Yeah, you ain't never been from the coast on a yacht to an island. Straight to the cosmos, James Webb. James Webb, you better talk to us. Let us know what's going on out there. Come on. Oh, man. <clears throat> we gotta read, unfortunately. I'm not stupid, I just, I'm just saying, I just want to hear some audio book, preferably. Perhaps bubble universes collided and gave birth to the universe. Big Bang Theory. The universe seems to be compatible with nothing. Huh. The James Webb Space Telescope Stop, was eagerly awaited before its launch last James year. James Webb! However, now that the most powerful and most expensive ever telescope is in operation, the JWST is threatening to turn astronomy upside down with a single finding. Oh! The name of this video is... Man, I ain't never did. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm a little lit. I'm a little lit. James Webb Telescope finally proves the Big Bang Theory is wrong. That's why I'm doing this video. I forgot to tell you that right there based on my intro. But yes, I want to see what they have to say on this because we all live by the Big Bang Theory. Yeah, let's go. Here we go. The latest pictures from the JWST have the, proven... Other than the uh, conspiracy theories. ...down with a single finding. The latest pictures from the JWST have proven the Big Bang Theory did not happen, sending the scientific community Tell into a how. frenzy. What are these latest pictures from the JWST? How that do the pictures crazy, prove bro. the Look at that. Hold on. What hold are on. these? Oh my God, that looks so beautiful, man. Now I know these photos do be enhanced a little bit so we can see them better. I don't know how to feel about that, but right now I'm gonna roll with it. This right here looks crazy, man. That look like God. They look like God right behind them clouds, bro. Oh, man. These latest pictures from the JWST. How do the pictures prove the Big Bang Theory was wrong? Join us as we dive into how the James Webb Space go, Telescope baby. finally proved the Big Bang Theory is wrong. Is this how expensive clickbait is can this a real? telescope get? I want to know. Like, let me know in the comments. Who is who video? This video is from Shasau. Am I subscribed? He, all right. So, Future Unity. I'm going to subscribe. Y'all let me know to unsubscribe right now because it says James, James Webb Telescope finally proves Big Bang Theory wrong, right? I want to know if it's clickbait titles. Is he, do we really do this or is it a lot of misleading content? Let me know. All right, here we go. No, I don't want to unsubscribe, bro. What are you doing? All right. James Webb Space Telescope set a new record in that regard. In terms of work hours, the telescope guzzled millions of hours with development stretching over decades. In terms of money, no other telescope comes near at $10 billion. The JWST was also an engineering nightmare as it involved designing it to fit the launch rocket. No rocket wow. was large enough to contain it, so the engineers had to design it to fold in multiple places. The large heat shield was folded up. That is it had to be crazy. unfurled what as it the? journeyed in multiple places. The large heat shield was folded up and had to be unfurled as it journeyed to its permanent location. And that was not even the riskiest part of the telescope. The centerpiece, the reflecting mirror, also had to be broken into 18 different pieces and then I folded. know some of this. It was quite delicate and both engineers it's and crazy. scientists that worked on it 
literally held their breath during the launch due to the number of things that could go wrong. That's crazy. Compounding their worries was the fact that the JWST is literally beyond repair or maintenance. The telescope is located so far away, about 1 million miles, wow. that it's impossible to send. The fact that people, the human ingenuity, man, like, I know, it, we, you tend to see so many assholes in the streets that you tend to lose faith in humanity. Or somebody may say some dumb shit politically or a this cause or that cause, but humans are dope, bro. Like, I'm serious. When I think about humans, humans will figure it the fuck out. I have faith in humanity. I'm one of those people. Call me optimistic, call me naive, but I do have faith in humanity. And in a repair crew, if anything goes wrong, there is no chance for refueling either, meaning the mission ends when the fuel runs out. Compared to the potential benefits, however, the risks with the JWST are more than worth it. It promises to widen our knowledge of the outer cosmos in a way that no other single scientific instrument has done. As such, <clears throat> since the telescope has been declared operational, scientists from all over the world have been queuing for their turn to use the powerful telescope to study. Now, I got ADHD, big dog. Now, thank you for letting us know how the, 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 the shit was designed. But right now, we want to know about this headline that you said, the Big Bang Theory wrong. Please, with all due respect, respectfully, respectfully. Space. However, none of them was prepared for one of the early nasty surprises the telescope had in store. Just weeks into its operation, the JWST has returned pictures that proved the Big Bang okay. couldn't have it's happened. Like you heard me. The Big Bang has become the gospel where astronomy is concerned. Facts. Thanks to the popularity of the hit show, The Big Bang Theory, many people explain the origin of the universe using the Big Bang. The Big Bang Theory traces its roots back to a... But this show didn't have nothing to do with the Big Bang. It was just... It was just in the living room. It was like the White Martin. <laughs> no, but, but I don't know, bro. Never mind, never mind. Priest come astronomer named Georges Lemaitre. He had this huge idea in 1927. Oh, he smart as a very long time ago, the universe started as just a single point. He said the universe stretched and expanded to get as big as it is now, and that it could keep on stretching. Some years later, famous astronomer Edwin Hubble was space Hubble telescope, telescope. Was named after built upon whoa the hubble is at the sun i didn't even know that i know about the hubble but that's how that's young hubble big hubble what up my g young hubble hey man i feel but we getting smarter man i'm ready to go on jeopardy right <laughs> i ain't even finished i'm three minutes in the video i'm ready to go on jeopardy right now wow that's big hubble right there man i've been keeping up with the hubble for a long time i'm a space fanatic man i've been keeping up with the space with the space i've been keeping up with space since I knew there was space. I haven't been as deep to get telescopes and all that type of shit, you know what I mean? But I'm I'm all but there now. Like, I really, really love this. Let's go. Later, famous astronomer Edwin Hubble, Young Hubble. the space telescope was named after, built upon Lemaitre's idea. Hubble discovered that other galaxies were moving away from us and that the farthest galaxies were moving faster than the ones close to us. Mm. The astronomer took this to mean the universe was still expanding, just like Lemaitre thought. Basically, if things were moving apart, it meant that long ago, everything had been close together. You see, according to the Big Bang, when the universe began, it was just hot, tiny particles mixed with light and energy. However, as everything expanded and took up more space, it cooled down. The tiny particles then grouped together and formed atoms. Then those atoms grouped together, and over a long period of time, the atoms came together to form the stars and galaxies that you see today. Hmm. Those first stars created bigger atoms and groups of atoms, leading to more stars being born. At the same time, galaxies were crashing and grouping together in one chaotic cosmic show. As new stars were being born and dying, other objects like asteroids, comets, planets, and black holes formed. All this took place within a big... Damn, my brain. Hold on, let me gather my thoughts, man. Let me get my thoughts together, man. Hold on, it's like sound like some Nintendo shit, man. It's like, shout out God, I'm, I'm saying that it's like it's a Nintendo game, man. We got black holes, like I got to dodge the asteroids. You got the black holes right there. We got all these new lives forming. Oh, man, it's, oh, it's like Nintendo on steroids. I mean, that's the dumb down way of saying it. I mean, it's way more complicated, all right? Sega Genesis. Now I'm fucking with it, but here we go. Period of about 14 billion years. 
Oh, we'll go back. Against I didn't catch that. Jacks like asteroids, comets, planets, and black holes formed. All this took place within a period of about 14 billion years. But what if the Big Bang didn't happen? While many scientists may not like to entertain this thought, as the theory has become the staple of modern astronomy, the JWST is unapologetic with its recent set of pictures. While the general public may be enthralled by the stunning images produced by the JWST, scientists are struggling to explain away their contradiction with the theory of the Big Bang. The problem with the pictures is that they show many galaxies that are surprisingly smooth, small, and old. But why exactly do galaxies that are smooth, small, and old contradict the Big Bang theory? Let's take it from stop, the- Stop, stop! How can you tell? It's like they talking about galaxies as if they're like little rocks. Like they just going, like now we got the, the technology to just go look at a galaxy like, oh, this is smooth. Look at this galaxy. This is a smooth. And some of this is speculation, man. Come on, fam. This got to be speculative hypotheticals. <laughs> this is not, come on, bro. How does they know that this is smooth? A smooth galaxy? Maybe y'all, if you know this, let me know in the comments. How do you know that a galaxy is smooth? It's like they touch them like rocks, bro. Too small angle first. Assuming the Big Bang Theory. Let's take it from the too small angle first. Assuming the universe is expanding, a strange optical illusion has to exist. The fact mm. is that galaxies or any other objects in space that occur naturally do not continue to look smaller and smaller with increasing distance. Mm. Actually past a certain point, they should start looking larger and larger. If you wonder why, it is because their light is supposed to have left them when they were closer to us. This is the opposite of what we observe in the ordinary, non-expanding space, where objects look smaller in proportion to their distance. Scientists that have studied the images by the JWST can't hide the fact that they show smaller galaxies. Even galaxies with greater luminosity and mass than the Milky Way Luminary. galaxy are seen in these images to be two to three times smaller than in similar images observed with the Hubble Space Telescope. Hmm. The new galaxies also have redshifts which are also two to three times greater. An expanding universe is not expected to behave like this. The galaxies that the JWST shows are just the same size as the galaxies near to us. If it is assumed that the universe is not expanding and redshift is proportional to distance. However, the Big Bang implies these distant galaxies must be intrinsically extremely tiny to compensate for the hypothesized optical illusion. One galaxy, the GHZ2. The think about infinite space or infinite is it's so mind boggling to think about endless. That is, if you, it's creepy a little bit, like if you really think about it, it's kind of creepy. Like, what if you go, there is no beginning? Oh my God, like, oh man. Like, you, you can get too high and think about this stuff. But I'm just saying, on the surface, if you think about it, if you barely think about it, he'd be like, yeah, just endless, yeah. You probably think about endless crab, endless shrimp, endless bullshit, mimosas, whatever your bullshit thoughts go to. But if you really take the time to think about infinite space, what would you discover if you was able to really travel there is to say whatever, because shit's so far away, but whatever. If you can just shoot to any point you want to, to, to find, it would be so scary of what you may find, man. Oh my God. You might pass by you, like 90,000 million per trillion, per zillion, that count like that in some of them small. Hi, 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 hi. You that many times. Damn, let's go. Is much more luminous than the Milky Illusion. One galaxy, the GHZ2, is much more luminous than the Milky Way. However, it's Zed, calculated that like radius. A phone. That sounds like a new android coming out, bro. What to is compensate it? for the hypothesized optical illusion. One galaxy, the GHZ2, is much more luminous than the Milky Way. However, its calculated radius is only 300 light years, which is 150 times smaller mm. than the radius of our Milky Way. Its surface brightness or brightness per unit area would be 600 times that of the brightest galaxy in the local universe. Its density would be tens of thousands of times that of the galaxies we see today. What about the galaxies being smooth? 
How does that affect the Big Bang Theory? Well, for the Big Bang to be true, there must be the existence of tiny, ultra-dense galaxies known as Mighty Mouse Galaxies. JWST has made the problem far worse. Only in America. I want to know what they call that in Spain. And I want to know what do they call that in motherfucking Ethiopia. Because only we would call this the Mighty Mouse. I mean, it makes sense probably, you know, but still, Mighty Mouse Galaxy. Okay, that's American in his hell. Mighty Mouse Galaxies. JWST has made the problem far worse. The theory speculates that the tiny <laughs> galaxies grow up into present-day galaxies by colliding with each other, which leads to merging as they become more spread out. To illustrate this kind of merger, imagine a magical toy car that is a centimeter long but weighs as much as an SUV. Further, imagine that it grows up into a real SUV by colliding with many other toy cars. This is where the images from the JWST become problematic for the Big Bang. Even though the illustration seems That's incredible to start with, you will at least expect to see at least some like fender some dents in the colliding cars. So Big Bang proponents expected to see galaxies bearing scars or serious <coughs> rough edges from the impact they survived or went through. But to their surprise, the JWST revealed overwhelmingly smooth disks and neat spiral forms. There is no difference between their appearance and that of the galaxies of today. Data showed that the images contained smooth spiral galaxies that are about 10 times more than the theory had predicted. Mm. This challenges the idea of the merger of galaxies being common. In other words, this data attacks the merger theory. Now what happens when galaxy mergers are few? The thing is, galaxies can't grow that big without the process of merger. So galaxies merge. I wonder how many times, if this is true, if this is true, I wonder how many times since I've been living have the galaxies merged. <laughs> I'm just curious. I don't know. This means larger galaxies have always been immense. It's kind of like fucking galaxies, bro. If you think about this, he basically saying that the galaxies out here fucking, man. Oh, my God. Bro, he's saying the galaxies are fucking, what merger you know? Oh my God! They drinking rain and linking. <laughs> they drinking rain and linking up in the cosmos. Oh shit! And they were never tiny. It also means the optical illusion predicted from the expanding universe hypothesis show that shit does no not more. exist. And no what illusion did he say? predicted from the expanding universe hypothesis does not exist. And no illusion means no expansion. The illusion is an unavoidable prediction from expansion. Let's look at the too old aspect next. This is actually similar or the same as too many. The JWST has numerous filters that it uses to take its images in the infrared part of the spectrum. This allows astronomers to glimpse the colors of distant galaxies. Hold on. They out there uh, putting them Snapchat filters on them? James Webb, you out there playing with the people stars and shit, man. Don't be putting the little, the little duck faces and shit on them, man. Come on. Part of the spectrum. This allows astronomers to glimpse the colors of distant galaxies. Okay. Basically, it is what astronomers use to calculate the age of stars in these galaxies. Young, hot stars appear blue in color, and to older, cooler stars, yellow or red. Now, the Big Bang that Theory implies the most distant galaxies in the JWST images are appearing as they were some 400 to 500 million years after the origin of the universe. However, some of these galaxies have exhibited stellar populations over a billion years old. Because nothing could have come from before the Big Bang, these galaxies prove that the Big Bang did not happen. Hmm. Of course, we can't have a galaxy older than the Big Bang. So for the Big Bang theory to be true, the JWST should be seeing fewer and fewer galaxies the more it looks back. Hmm. Eventually, Look it would stop in. seeing galaxies or enter the dark ages of the cosmos. But researchers are demonstrating that galaxies as massive as the Milky Way are common even a few hundred million years after the supposed that looks Big sweet Bang. As I like the that. Scientists that picture looks so cold. Oh my god, I want I want that common on the wall. Even a few I don't care if it's fake. I love that picture right there. Oh my god. That is so dope. That'd be a dope pain. I need to put that in, in my Airbnb or something. I, or my fuck the Airbnb. I need to put that at home. That's a living rumor. I'm gonna screenshot. What's the time? One, two, three, four. Nine fifty-five. All right, cool. Nine fifty. Remember this. Nine fifty-five. Hundred million years after the supposed Big Bang, 
The scientists claim the new JWST images show at least 100,000 times as many galaxies as theorists predicted at redshifts more than That's 10. That's crazy. And could so many large galaxies have been formed in so little time? Not likely at They're all. babies. Which means there was no Big Bang. Let's pause here and ask what happens if the scientific establishment accepts that the Big Bang theory is flawed. There must then be a new way to explain the universe's beginnings. One likely explanation is plasma filamentation, which has been around for about five decades. Huh? This process can actually be explained using physical processes common in the laboratory. Plasma is the electrically conducting gas that forms most of all the matter in space, including the stars and the space between the stars. Only the Hubble redshift relation would still need some new physical process to explain the loss of energy as light travels huge distances. One of the critical processes in plasmas that scientists have identified and studied is plasma filamentation. This is the process by which electric currents and the magnetic fields they create draw plasma into the lacy system of filaments that are visible at all scales in the universe. Plasma filamentation is one of the basic processes that led to the creation of planets, stars, galaxies, and other structures. We have plasma in our Plasma blood. filamentation <laughs> is also crucial in the effort. Is this the same plasma, bro? Because he got me, like, he, he, he's selling me at the end here, bro. He like, first time, I'm like, yeah, I know. But he, he getting me with the plasma, man. Like, I'll be so into it. I'll be wanting to be led somewhere else. You know, when you go somewhere, oh, shit, let me go research the plasma. To develop fusion energy artificially. The JWST is just doing its job, opening our minds to new ways to see the universe. It is already making scientists think of what would happen if the Big Bang actually never happened. Let's hear what you think of the video. Okay, he ended it a little bit different on that one. So, oh man, that was dope. Hey, what's his name? Uh, what's his name? I don't know. Y'all just let me know what you think about it. I'm not going to, you know, I appreciate him for the video. Future Unity is where I got that from. I will have the original link. Yeah, but damn, bro. Um, I don't know. That definitely opened up my mind because when I think about all these galaxies, I mean, before this video, uh, and I read in the comments a lot, a lot of us think alike. Um, it's too, it's too, the the universe, I'm just gonna just think this is a way to sum it up. The universe is so vastly big. It's so vast, it's so big that it's bigger than what we thought. Like, and you can't even think as big as what it really is. This is the most remedial way that uh, we can sum this up, right? <laughs> you can't even fathom the thought of how big the universe and the galaxy in the world is. There's galaxies upon galaxies upon galaxies upon galaxies. That is kind of creepy to me. I'm not going to lie to you. Because anything we don't understand, we tend to have fear of. I'm not scared. Like, ah! But the more I think about it, it tends to get a little dark for me. I'm going to keep it a thousand with you. So I don't know. What do you think about the video? What is the next video I will be doing? And are you following me on Instagram at Keto Abashi? Be sure to follow me on Instagram. Like this video. Subscribe. I just asked you for a lot of shit and I appreciate you. I love y'all. We up out of here. Outro. Yeah, you never flew private plane. Now your eyes open wide up in Paris. Yeah. Never been from the coast on a yacht to an island.